Hello. Hello. Welcome to Kaizo's Pyromania trip. <laughs> so I figured it out that he had a guest. Now we're gonna want humanity back. Trap ahead. Oh, that trap. Okay. Well, don't I feel like a fool? Yep. You know what, let's go see what's on this side. Jesus fucking Christ! Okay, hold on. Where were the other two? You saw that, right? Two others came up. Yeah, that was weird. Okay. Because obviously we killed the... Uh, the ones here. Oh. They were hiding out. Ooh. What bitches? are dumb. Be there. Alright. Let's let him come up. Earth and Peak is uh, an interesting little zone if you hadn't realized. my stains down there, but I don't know if I want to jump down and grab it. I don't know if the pyromancers are human or not. That was... Also, that was close. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I'll be glad to be out of this place. Yeah, why are some sounds so much louder than everything else? So fucking obnoxious. Oh, hey. Look at who it is. What the fuck was that? You heard that, right? Yeah, but... Huh. Huh. 
Oh. I remember how this works. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get our souls back really quickly. Which will unfortunately require that I break one of these. But if I'm careful, I'm just gonna get poisoned regardless. these guys. Especially since they're just everywhere. Yeah. Dark Souls 2, as I'm sure we've covered, does not, uh, or specifically Scholar of the First Sin Edition, just adds more enemies. That's it. There's yeah. Why though? Huh? I don't get why though. There never has to be a reason necessarily. The reason can just be why? Because it is there. What does this do? How badly does this fuck me over? Oh. So I think it goes up again. No? It's not. Oh, it's about to. Oh, the trick is to not get crushed. Got it. Peak, you are the worst. Honestly, at this point, I feel like it's perfectly acceptable to go sit at the bonfire again, but I don't know that I want to. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I feel like resetting the enemies at this point is just the worst idea. But now we'll be able to properly fight that one dude. There we go. Thankfully the poison softens him up for me. That was a lot of fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Real close to your head. Now there is a, uh, there's a bonfire here. I think it's up mm. this way. One day, one of these will be right. Oh! Oh! Haha! -ha! You did it! I do not want to warp. Oh? Um, that was not what I was setting out to do. So, uh, just to give you an idea, this area would normally be filled with poison. 
But yeah. because we, you know, burnt the windmill, it's not. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna casually block down? Mm -hmm. Not gonna bother that area. Uh, I don't know what this is, but I want it. Because, uh, the glow on those actually is, uh, brighter if it's a rarer item. Oh, I hate you! Okay, I have to essentially reset my chance here. Say hello to the Baneful Queen. Uh, you might want to, uh, because of that scream attack, you might want to deafen, or not, oh. or, like, just quiet the thing. Yeah, uh, I'll be okay. I have it pretty quiet already just because of how bad the sound balancing is, but... That's fair. That was also, uh... Terrifying as a uh, thing. I'll be honest, I've never actually seen that grab attack. But yeah, and then her arena itself would actually be completely filled with, uh, with poison as well. Poison? Yeah. Are you doing the venom versus poison thing? Because I'm pretty sure that this is liquid poison. Unfortunately, the game is also kind of lame, and is going to make me have to partially fight her in the poison. Because what she does is, when she gets low, she'll just retreat into it, uh, and regain some health. Lame. But, that won't stop me for very long. Nice work. Thank you. As we are now done with Earth and Peak for the time being, I might have to come back here later and pick up one or two things. And now, we move into uh, the next area. So, ask me really quickly, what do you think the natural transition from this, uh, this, you know, valley of poison and stuff is. Like, wh what do you think we end up next? Yeah, the face area. So obviously that was like a very rural area, probably had a lot of farmland, that kind of thing. Keep that in mind, right? Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Iron Keep! Oh! Huh. Yep. Okay. So, uh... Oh, I'm gonna test something. 
Yeah, no, that's a no-go. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna see if I could actually make it <laughs> to that item, but uh, we need better fire gear. But first, we're gonna go stop at Majula because we need of we need to level up. But we're actually coming up on our third uh, on our third Lord Soul. It's in that area. Yeah, well. Uh, please tell me. Nah, she doesn't have it. Damn it. No interest. See yourself. Basically, I just want more of my uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. More to, to upgrade with. I wonder if I have enough on me. Where? Where do I keep that? What pocket is that? It's in here. I think I have enough to we get at least one upgrade on the sword, so let me see about that. Buy items. Okay, you also don't have it. I swear that there's a way to get her to sell you that, though. But, yep, we can upgrade, and aha! We can actually upgrade a little further than I was expecting. Isn't that nice? Yep. Um, we're also going to go ahead and consume some souls. Sorry I do a lot of our leveling up on screen, it just, uh, easier than trying to, you know, not go all the way. <laughs> Technically speaking, we now have the bare minimum to require it's a, required to wield our sword. We're also gonna level up our stamina there. Now we're not going to wield it in this upcoming area, but technically speaking, we can now wield the Pursuer Great Sword if I have the stats correct. And clearly that's the most important thing, right? Would you also believe that there's another Belfry here? Yeah. Although there's no gargoyles this time around. That's good. Yep. This is an Alon Knight. And you will notice that uh, these guys, unlike a lot of the enemies that we've been facing up to this point, are very, uh, how you say, weedy. Mm. Where? Oh. Hello. How you doing? You know, it's very dishonest to have to uh, have a friend. Now we take this to the dueling bridge. Another NPC gone. Thank okay. goodness. Why was this their solution? 
Like, okay, changing some enemy placements, that's one thing, right? Uh, yeah. We just hit time, by the way. Okay. I'm gonna run out here really quickly. Um, I'll see you all next episode, and hopefully I'll have killed these guys by then. Uh, until then, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.